Welcome to another exciting episode of Kazi Big Boy Trev. I am Big Boy Trev and today it's all about commercial vehicles. Today we are Trans Africa Motors, our proud sponsors for today. And they're going to show us the lineup of FAW trucks. Plus, we are going to build a whole truck cut of Kazi Big Boy Trev. But first things first, let's take a look at the highlights of today's show. This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, it's all about focusing on the commercial vehicle segment as the backbone of Kenya's transport sector. We dive deep into the world of Trans Africa Motors and its quest to dominate this sector with the FAW trucks. Finally, we review the most powerful 10 ton truck in the market, the FAW JK6. We analyze its design, cabin features, powerful engine, and of course, give you value for money preposition as to why this could be your next truck. Catch this and much more on Cars with Big Boy Trev this Sunday at 5 p.m. only on NTV, in association with FAW trucks by Trans Africa Motors. So tell me about uh, this whole area. Now this is the entrance, this is where we've come in, and this is the first place which, uh, of our assembly plant. Yeah. This is where we receive all the goods which we, we're getting from our suppliers, okay. both locally and internationally. Uh -huh. uh, so this is where we receive the tires, Yes. Uh, the boxes which uh, inside them are the parts which are used to, for assembly. Uh, the cabins, uh, the shells of the cabins, which they come like this. Yes. This is how they come with Prima only. And then we paint them according to their customer specification. Okay. Uh, with our, our our brand colors as are white and yellow. Yes. But according to customer specification, if you yeah. want green or blue or red or any other color, so we paint him according to his uh, specification. Okay, so it comes as already primed. Yeah. It's only not to be taken to the paint shop. Yeah. To be painted and baked. Yes. So we can go there? Please do. All right. Friendly. So what happens here now? Okay, so this is the painting area, yes. the baking area actually. All the cabins and the small parts and all the parts which are fitted on the cabin, yeah. this is where we paint them according to the specification color we uh, have just explained. Okay. So these are the small parts, like this is primed, but this is painted. So what ah. they do is they do preparation, yeah. sanding and everything, making yes. sure everything is okay. Yeah. And then they put it inside the oven uh -huh. where they bake it to around 60 to 70 degrees. Wow. Uh, they paint it first and then they bake it to uh, 60 to 70 degrees. Yes. And then from here, so this is a small uh, paint board, the oven, uh, which only houses the small parts. Yes. And then the big parts, like the cabin and everything, yeah. this goes to the other big. Uh, How heavy is this thing? Uh, it's uh, lightly, it's light. Yeah, okay. Some, it's fiber, the material it's is fiber, fiber yes. Okay. Some so there's somebody also does quality control every time a part comes out from the oven to confirm there's uniformity of paint. Definitely. The first quality process is before when we receive the materials. Yes. So there's someone checking the material, making sure there's no there are no damages. Okay? Yeah. The material is okay, molded yes. to the specification, the yeah. manufacturer specification, and then they supply it to the painting area. Okay. So here from the painting area now they do the preparation as I had explained. Yes. Immediately it go it comes off the painting booth. Now there's another inspector the quality of the paint, yes. making sure there are no any drips, there's no dust and everything. It's perfectly baked and everything. Yeah. And then it goes to the assembly line for production. So this is where the shell is being painted. Uh -huh. so as you can see, these people here, yes. they do the preparation. Yes. They do the sanding yeah. and uh, they fit the doors and do the sanding, making sure everything is okay. Yes. And then next they push it, they push the cabins inside the uh -huh. oven. So this oh, is where the main good. painting is going on. They do the painting here and uh, they bake it after painting, they bake it to 60 and 70 degrees. Wow. Yeah. Immediately it comes out, the quality person again yes. has to check, making yes. sure the paint is okay, the, the color is okay, and everything from sanding. And then this is where we transfer it to the production lines. Wow. That's a very interesting thing, guys. So we learn a thing or two from part, of, part arrival, then they do the bits of painting, then this clay oven that tries to uh, ensure that the humidity around this particular truck is good so that the paint can settle and there's no dust. Then we go to uh, cabin and trim and assembly. So where next do we go? To the trimming assembly now. Let's go to trimming assembly. So from having the cabins painted, they land on this line. No. So what happens here? So now here is where the trimming starts. Trimming okay. is the process of assembling the parts of the cabin into the cabin. All right. So this is where the trimming part starts. Uh -huh. We start with the exterior. Yes. Inside the walls and the, and the roof and yes. everything. And the exterior, the locks and the intake pipes and everything. This is where it starts. So this is the first place and it goes to the door uh -huh. assembly. Yes. The door locks and the windows. 
and everything. That's the second part. Okay, so this is the third part where they do the interior of the, the steering wheel and the blowers and everything. This is where they do. This is the third part of the cabin trimming assembly. Yeah. Okay. And then the fourth now, they do the glassing. Okay. The rear glass, the pilot glass and the windscreen. Yeah. This is where they finish. The last part now is the final part. Yes. They do the final touches. Any ah. stickers which are supposed to be there, any decorations which are supposed to be there. Yes. Uh, so the plastic, the small, small plastic which are supposed to be fitted. Yes. This is where they do uh, uh, the fourth part. Ah. So this is where, uh, after the fourth part, now the cabin is ready to it's be ready. mounted on oh, okay. the chassis. Okay. So guys, you've just had um, the whole intricate process of building a truck. So from painting, it comes here to cabin and trim. They start with the exterior, then they go to the interior parts, fitting the doors, the glass, and of course the linings and the roofs, electrical, and towards the end then is when now they move to coming to the chassis side and it will be ready for marriage. So we move to the chassis, we need to build a truck. Yeah. I need to hold some guns. You want to have something? Yes. <laughs> so after that, we are coming to the engine part where there's a gearbox and engine assembly. What happens here? So this is the second part of the assembly plant, the second section of the assembly plant. Yes. This is where the engine is being married to the gearbox. So the gearbox okay. is married to the engine. All right. Uh, actually, the JK6 is a new model. Yes. And the engine which you are seeing here is a Duet's engine. Yes. It's a Chinese brand of power, but yes. the technology which has been used is the German technology. Okay. Similarly, the Eton uh, gearbox. Yes. The German technology. Okay. So this is what we are saying when we are saying that we are improving the models. We are yes. improving the technology to suit the various demand and ever-evolving demand uh, of the market. So basically, this is where they marry the engine to the gearbox. Okay. Uh, then after that, after it moves, this now, uh -huh. this is where they take it to the chassis line, where yes. they mount it at a later stage there. Okay. So we can see that when yes. we move to the chassis line. All right. Okay. Let's go. We need to build something. Follow us. So that we've come to the chassis side, what happens here? Okay, so the chassis line is subdivided into different stations. Yes. And each station has a team leader. Okay. Now the first station here, this is where they mount the, the suspension of the truck. Okay. We're talking about the rear axle and the front axle. Yes. This is where they mount the, the chassis on the suspension of the truck. So basically they just fit the brackets necessary to do that. And uh, after that, the truck moves on to the next line. But one thing I need to mention, yes. uh, Trevor, is that here, each section has a team leader. Okay. And each team leader is the quality inspector for his team. Wow. So before it moves to the next session, the team leader has to confirm yes. everything has been talked, the, the, the bolts have been fastened correctly with the required truck. Yes. If there are any lock tests which are supposed to be put, they have been put, that is when the truck moves to the session. That's wow. to the second session. So the level of quality assurance is good. It's very much. We do it in quality, we don't compromise in quality in any way. Now I promise <coughs> the viewers that I'm going to build something. And I okay. think I can see uh, there is some mounting that is here. Yeah, so, so you're like we are mounting the front uh, suspension bracket. Okay. So at least you, you can handle the, the gun. Okay. Okay. So here goes nothing. Because the big boat travel on Yanga Mindiko TV, it's time for me to actually build a truck. So three, two, one. Like that? Okay. Power. Power. The next. There you go. The next. Next. The next. All right. In he goes. Okay. Perfect. Three, two, one. Next. This one. Okay. You ready? Yes. All right. Quisha. That's it, guys. That's how you build a truck from scratch. So make sure you come for lessons only on Kazi Big Boy Trev. So we go to the next line. Shall we? Yes. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now that we've seen the JK6 truck being assembled, from scratch, literally scratch, all the way to a finished product. What should we expect now? Are we doing quality control now? Yes. Testing of the vehicle? So actually this is just a tip of the iceberg. Yes. The real work now comes to make sure the truck which we have assembled yes. is at the right, on the right shape. Yes. Where we can uh, confidently give it, hand it over to the customer. Yes. Tell him now this truck will give you a certain mileage and you can do it with a certain load, you can carry and everything. Wow. So the real part and the real uh, work of the assembly now is to make sure the quality of this truck is up to standard, up to the manufacturer specification, up to the government specifications and everything. So now we can move to the quality area. All right. So as basically I had explained, this is yes. the most important crucial part, the quality yes. inspection. 
Yes. This is where we are confidently enough that we can give this truck to our client. Yes. So basically what happens, this is the first stage of the quality inspection. Uh -huh. This is where they do the static inspection. Yes. The truck is static. It's not moving. Yes. Here we do the wheel alignment. Uh -huh. uh, there's two people who are confirming uh, whatever has been built, whatever yes. has been fastened there on the production line from the cabin to the chassis. Yes. Everything has been fastened according to the manufacturer specification. Yes. And most importantly, uh, as I mentioned, this is a new model. Yes. Uh, okay, the 10 ton new model, the, GH, the JK6. Yes. Uh, the engine, the Deutsch engine, the yes. German technology engine, yes. together with its gearbox. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a Euro 3 engine. Wow. As you can see here, this is our process engineer is programming the car, programming and diagnosis, making sure all the electrical parts, all the functioning of the engine and the truck itself at yes. large is perfect and up to standard, up to the manufacturer specification. Yes. So this is what it happens, basically. With, together with the well, wheel alignment as I mentioned, yeah. the headlight adjustments and everything which is supposed to be done at the static inspection. So after that, it goes on a rolling test. You yeah, after that, brakes. now we go to the rolling test. Uh -huh. We check the brakes and the road test doing now the, what we call the dynamic inspection. Okay. So after that, now the last part is the pre-delivery inspection. PDI. Oh, yeah, yeah uh -huh. the PDI. Yes. Now where we hand over the truck to the client, knowing that it has gone all those quality process from yes. the line from the production line to the quality uh, session number one, session number two, and to the PDIs. Ladies and gentlemen, only on Cars is Big World Drive, you get all this exclusivity. Trying to see how a truck is built from scratch, from start to finish, and we'll explain how the truck is built, surely is a big phenomenon, and that's what Cars is Big World Drive stands for. So, for the moment you've been waiting for right now, what truck am I reviewing today? Still the JK6 truck. So, stay tuned for the big review of the JK6, Kenya's most powerful 10-ton truck right here on Cars with Big Boy Trev. In association with FAW Trucks by Trans Africa Motors. In association with FAW Trucks by Trans Africa Motors. Now this is the key to Kenya's brand new 10 ton truck introducing to you this FAW JK6 with prices starting at USD 30,000 you reckon it's going to be your next truck for your business we take a look at this particular vehicle by reviewing it and we start with the design profile and the first thing you do notice is the modern brand new design that I can tell you is actually at par or even better than the established brands what am I talking about look at that grill trapezoidal with circular vents We've got some slated grill again to give this car some Jean Sequa, thank you very much of course you have the number one and FAW brands emblazoned on it show that this particular truck is the number one truck in China. For those who do not know about FAW, FAW has been making trucks for over 70 years and of course they have sold over 7 million trucks globally. So they know a thing or two about designing and building reliable and robust trucks, especially for our region right here in Kenya. Obviously, as you look at the lower lip of this particular truck, you can see this trapezoidal headlamps allows you to illuminate the road and see it clearly as you traverse the beautiful country of Kenya. Whether you're hauling goods and services from Mombasa, Kisumu, Eldoret, this is a truck and I can tell you they do it efficiently with a lot of power. Right below it, of course, you do have a lip, a step lip where you can actually go up. All right, if you want to clean the windows again, there's a step that's been provided. And of course, you have reflectors all around. So this particular truck has been designed in such a way that is economical and easy on the eye. Not only that, the windscreen, again, the aero striking improves one, efficiency, fuel efficiency is fantastic in this particular truck and of course offers massive visibility. The minimal A pillars again ensure that the driver can see all four corners of a truck while traversing the beautiful country of Kenya in absolute comfort. You have mirrors as well and of course being a long cab chassis, you have a semi-detached path where you actually can have a bed so the driver and turn back can stop and relax as they they deliver goods and services from point A to B with ease. So what's the design face on the side? Let's move to the side and have a look at the design of this particular FAW JK6. Okay, moving over to the side profile. Again, you do see that the design of this particular JK6 FAW truck is been designed for efficiency and of course, maximum comfort. You can see the side steps allows you to get in and out quite effectively. And you can see there's plenty of space. Legroom is fantastic. One thing I love about the JK6 is the fact that it comes with big tires, 22. 0.6 and the standard ones that are coming in this particular category on the 19 inch size so better ground clearance 
better comfort for the driver and of course the cargo. Obviously this particular vehicle has quite a number of things. Number one, a sidestep if you order this particular body, uh, the clothes, chassis, body, then again you have side steps, you have auxiliary things that you can add, you have this air servo circuitry as well just to give this car good braking and many other things. Moving over to the back side as well, 22.5 gives maximum comfort and ground clearance. So if you're going to very challenging areas with your truck, then this particular truck will give you the added benefit of comfort and of course ability to go over different terrains quite easily. Now, let's move to the back and see what this truck has, number one. Now this safety bar is very important because when you have an accident, it prevents a car from getting inside just in case somebody decides to run inside. So this safety bar allows, number one, comfort and safety for anyone who's behind it. And of course, the high visibility lamps allows everybody at the back to see if the trailer is backing up or braking or etc. So again, the name of the game is trying to ensure that drivers are safe on the road. The JK6 gives you maximum value for money. And of course, it's safe to operate in any type of terrain. Now, Let's step inside and have a look at the cabin quality of this JK6 by FAW. So ladies and gentlemen, we're in the cabin of the FAW JK6, Kenya's brand new 10 ton truck. And I can tell you from the design perspective exteriorly, we can now say, and this particular truck is beautifully made and done. Very premium, very sophisticated, and yet at a very budget friendly price. We start this particular cabin review by taking a look at the design. And the first thing that you do notice is the way the dashboard has been placed forward. It's called the Ford Cab design that allows to have maximum space between the dashboard and this particular vehicle. So this Ford Cab design allows, number one, plenty of space for the passenger and the driver. Number two, you're able to feel relaxed and comfortable. It's a high top side design, also allows good uh, headroom for the driver and the passenger. It's built for comfort, it's built for taking goods from point A to B over long distances. So very ideal if you're transporting stuff from Mombasa to Nairobi, Nairobi to Kisumu, Eldoret, Nyeri, everywhere. So in good, good comfort. Now, the dashboard, the highlight of this particular dashboard is this design. I like this trapezoidal design. We've got this FAW emblazoned on it. And of course, you have so many vents. So this particular vehicle has digital AC climate control digital it's not a vent it's got proper ac which allows you to moderate the cabin temperature at any given uh, town if you're feeling very cold in limuru you can crank up the heat and of course if you're feeling hot in mombasa the ac wafts out very cold air from the numerous vents actually there are seven of them of course you have plenty of cables and spaces in the middle you do have an audio system which is modern for the first time with an usb spot you have fm and you actually can stream via bluetooth so it allows you to be safe on the road while driving this particular truck Right below it, you've got the AC buttons as well. You've got a 12 volt socket to charge your devices as you traverse the beautiful country of Kenya. And even the driver can actually have different cubby holes for maybe his wallet, some cash here and there. Then you have these blank switches for the horn and hazard. And in case you have any auxiliary switches, maybe a pump that will pump the tires, you can actually place them here to ensure that this particular vehicle is practical while on the road. Obviously, you can see here you have this gearbox cabin design. This particular gearbox is an eight speed. Uh, dual transmission so basically you're able to toggle through the low gears and the high gears quite easily as you can see here and of course you have plenty of space then you have a slot for your mobile phone and of course the pack brake which is pneumatic so clear visible design allows the driver to see every critical aspect of the truck quite easily and of course driving it i love the steering wheel it's a four spoke uh, pneumatic steering wheel that allows you to you know pack very easily at low speeds and of course farms up when you're driving fast i want to test out that later and of course you do have the exhaust brake as standard your fog lights and movable lights that allows you to focus and see the road quite clearly without any ease so for me i think this truck is built for the driver built for comfort and speaking of that this particular truck has pneumatic seats. Oh no, this one is so comfortable because the pneumatic seats allows the driver to drive long distances without getting tired. So you can adjust it quite easily if you want to put it up and down. It depends on what you want to do with it with, with this particular uh, seat. So comfort is the name of the game, uh, practicality, plenty of cabbios and spaces, and of course visibility. The A pillars are minimal to ensure the driver can see all four corners of uh, the truck quite easily without any stress. So it's time for us to get on the road and feel the power of this six cylinder by JK6 by FAW. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the JK6 
by FLW, the 10 ton beast, courtesy of Trans Africa Motors. And today, on Kazi Big Boat Rev, we are subbing it, we are reviewing it because we review everything. Because our tagline is everything motoring. So, I'm driving this particular JK6, I can tell you, I'm just simulating what a typical delivery person would do transporting goods from one town to the other. So, driving it, it feels very good. So, what are the ingredients that make this JK6 special? The engine, of course. It's a ditch engine, it's German, of course, six cylinder in line and produces 180 horsepower and 800 Newton meters of torque with that power sent to the rear wheels courtesy of an eight speed Eton Fuller transmission. It's got both high and low ratios. And I can tell you, it's a dream to drive. Even you at home, you can drive this particular vehicle. Uh, makes it very easy to drive and it's very comfortable. The noise vibration and harshness is also very good because FAW have put sound deadening materials in the chassis and in the cabin lining to prevent sound from getting in. And of course the seat, it's pneumatic, so drivers can drive long distance with this particular vehicle. Now, the fuel consumption varies, but of course this particular vehicle can carry up to 14 tons. And remember the rivals only do it up to 10. So you can carry 40% more cargo at a very fuel efficient rate. Now, in terms of uh, reliability and safety, this particular vehicle has advanced safety systems, including dual circuitry ABS, which allows this particular vehicle to stop and reduce uh, braking distance at any given pace. You have a wide windscreen to allow you to see what is happening on all the four corners. You've got large mirrors. And of course, you do have crumple zones. So in case all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the crumple zones up front, a collapsible steering wheel column, and of course, safety belts, which come as standard in this FAW JK6. So, what do you think about this? It's time for us to value and see what this car can do in terms of value for money. So that has been the extreme review of the FAW JK6 10 ton truck. Reliable, comfortable, and of course, very economic. But the most important thing is the value for money proposition. Is it the right truck for you based on this particular review? We take a look at the VFM, the value for money proposition. So how much does this truck cost? So this particular truck is sold and serviced by Trans Africa Motors. And of course, it comes in the price of 30,000 US dollars, depending on the exchange rate. Number two, it comes with a warranty of one year and it's supported by the after sales and service of Trans Africa Motors who are spread across the country. So from Mombasa, Kisumu, Eldoret, this particular truck can be maintained. And they also have a mobile clinic just in case you get stuck in the bundles trying to deliver your goods and services. Now, who are the key rivals in this particular segment? Of course, the Isuzu FRR. You have the Mitsubishi FI, amongst others in this particular category. So the biggest question still remains is this FAW JK6, the truck for you. Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media handles below. We get you the feedback next week. We're signing out. This is Big Boy Trev. Next week. with FAW Trucks by Trans Africa Motors.